good day to everyone in our previous video we had seen about the terminologies of the payment gateway and how the transaction flow will happen in the payment gateway in this video we will see why do we need to test the payment gateways and the kinds of testing that is required for the payment gateway and we will take a live example and we will see how the payment gateway testing is done now we will see why we need to do the payment gateway testing when we buy something from an offline market we will use cash or the debit card or the credit card for making the payment and when we swipe to the debit card or the credit card the machine it will indicate if the payment processing it would be approved or declined similarly while doing the online transaction we need to have a system that authorizes the processing of the payment and it should decide immediately whether to accept or decline it from a customer perspective the online payment processing in the e-commerce website it should be seamless that is the customer he wants a smooth transaction process it will be beneficial for the customer if he comes to know instantly whether the payment is approved or declined so that it will save time the e-commerce company or the merchant they would want the whole payment process to work properly so that the customers they would be satisfied while making the online payment the e-commerce company or the merchant they should give this seamless service to its customer so that the customer can pay easily and securely the details that are provided by the customers for the payment it must be secured and no one should be able to steal the information or hack the information when the customer he makes the payment online he should get a payment successful message or the decline message within a few seconds next we'll see what are all the types of testing that we need to do for the payment gateway depending on the choice of the payment processor and the product or the application requirement we may need to perform some of the testings like functional testing integration testing performance testing and security testing in the functional testing we will verify that the payment gateway it can process the transactions accurately and will also ensure that all the payment methods that is it may be credit card debit card or any other digital wallets etc they are supported and it will also work as expected we'll test various transaction scenarios such as successful payments and declined payments and the refunds voids etc and in the security testing we will ensure that the sensitive payment information it is transmitted securely using the encryption and we will also verify that the customer data it is not stored in the plain text and it is properly encrypted and in the performance testing we will ensure that the payment gateway it can handle a high volume of transactions without performance degradation and we will also test the response time of the payment gateway under the different load conditions we will also verify that the payment gateway it can handle peak loads during the sales events or promotions in the integration testing we will test the integration between the payment gateway and the merchant website we will also verify that the transaction data it is accurately transmitted between the merchant and the payment gateway and we will also ensure that the payment gateway it can handle callbacks and the notification from the merchant system and in overall the payment gateway testing helps to ensure that the payment processing system it is reliable secure and provides a seamless experience for both merchants and customers the testing it helps to identify and fix the issues before they impact the business revenue or the reputation next we'll see a live example of how the payment gateway testing is done now i'll open a misho application and i will show you how this payment gateway testing is done now i have just opened this website here now i am selecting home decor from this i am selecting a dream catcher now i am clicking on add to cart here i am signing up i am providing my mobile number then i am clicking on continue here it gave the message as otp sent but 
see here you can see that we are not able to log in here here the testing team they have not tested it correctly there is a critical bug in this application that is the user he is not able to sign up only now i will open the amazon website and i'll show you how the payment gateway testing is done now you can see that i have opened the amazon website and it is already logged in here now i'll select one of the product i am just scrolling down now i am selecting this vacuum cleaner now i'll add it to the cart i am selecting go to cart now i'll verify whether the total and the subtotal whether it is correct or not now i'll also check whether if i change the quantity and I, if the subtotal amount it is changing or not after that i'll click on proceed to buy here we need to add the address only then we should proceed further i have already added the address here now i'm clicking on this address and i'm selecting use this address here you can see various payment methods now in this payment section we need to do the ui testing first that is we should verify that the amazon logo it is present or not then we should verify the amazon pay balance option whether it is present or not then verify the credit card or the debit card option it is present or not then verify visa mastercard or the mastro all these kinds of cards that are present or not then verify upi option it is there or not then verify the net banking option it is there or not then verify e emi option it is available or not then verify cash on delivery option is available or not and also verify the total amount whether it is correct or not these are the ui testing that we need to do before we proceed for the further testing next we will be doing the functional testing here we will be checking or verifying each payment method that is we will verify whether the user he is able to click on the use amazon pay balance or not we will verify whether user he is able to use already the cards which is saved and we will verify whether the user he is able to add new card or not in this add new card section we will need to test it with the test data we should test it with different scenarios and with different permutation and combination with valid and invalid data next we will check whether the user he is able to click on the net banking option and we will also check whether it is showing all the bank names and we will also check whether it is working fine or not next we will check in the emi option whether it is allowing to add new credit card details or not and we will test it by adding the credit card details of valid and invalid data also we will verify whether emi it has been correctly calculated or not next we will do the performance testing that is the payment gateway it should not crash when the multiple users try to make the payment at the same time here the test data of the dummy accounts it will be provided to us to test it we will try to do the multiple payments at the same time so we we'll log in with the multiple accounts and we'll test it then when i enter the details of the card or the upi id or any other mode of online payment we should check whether it is responding properly or not we should check whether the otp it is going to the respective person or not and we should uh, check whether the recent otp option it is there or not and if it is there whether it is working fine or not we should verify whether it is secured or not by applying the sql injection attack next we'll do the security testing here we'll check whether the debit card or the credit card or the online banking all these details whether they are masked or not and we'll also check if the payment it is happening through the secured channel or not now i am clicking here now you can see here you can check whether the connection it is secured or not you can see that the it is showing as the certificate is valid the certificate it should show as it is valid then only it is considered as secured then we should also check if the transaction it get cancelled or not if i enter invalid details it should not proceed further with the invalid data 
now i am entering the card details now i am clicking on proceed further now we have arrived to the payment gateway here you need to check whether the payment gateway logo it is present or not and also check if the timeout it is there or not these are all the things that we need to test in the payment gateway thank you for watching our video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our video or updates thank you